Okay, so I'm back with another video again. This week is going to be much better for me, man. Much, much better. And again, I apologize for it because I didn't upload. Well, I apologize on my Patreon. I don't think I apologize on my main YouTube channel. But I apologize for last week, man, because it was just another one of those weird weeks. I got sick and then like, because like I told you, I hit that point where I don't sleep well. And I've seen the recommendations for things too. Thank you, everybody who gave me recommendations. I remember one was like eat cherries and another one was for my allergies. Like eat, eat gin, uh, was it ginger or garlic? I can't remember which one. Right. I took a screenshot of all of it. I'm going to try all that shit out, man. Thank you, everybody who, who even, you know, is still around. Because <laughs> like Jay-Z said, man, you could have chosen been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. So thank you. Oh, you see the iron in the back. Yeah, my girl came over. She ironed all my pants. I was actually, I was, I was impressed. She ironed all my dress suit pants, and I have creases again in all the pantsuit legs. I got a lot of pants. I got a lot of suits, too. So yeah, she ironed all them shits while I took a nap. <laughs> like... So I was pretty impressed by that shit. I should go grab a couple pair to show you, but nah. Anyway, so this video is a, is was was brought up. Uh oh, sorry about that. Was brought up from um, a, a watcher with the initials. I think I think A H. I just clicked off this shit like a dumbass, but I think the initials are A H. And it, obviously, it's Georgia Free. And this goes on the topic of four things men do that prove they are high, high quality. Now I haven't even watched this shit. But I can tell by the title, it was good enough for me to at least give it a chance. And it's only six minutes long, so we're going to go ahead and roll with this and, and make a show out of it. So here we go. Today we're talking about four things that men do, actions that men take, that show to women that they are high quality and really make a woman stop in her tracks and go, whoa, this guy is probably awesome. Now I am basing this on my own observation and of course there's so much more that I could list and talk about but in the interest of time and keeping it short and sweet I've just got four quick ones for today. So the first thing that a man might do that shows that he is high quality is that if he shows you off in public, if he's proud of you, if he wants people to know that you're together that is a great sign. If he only ever shows you attention in private, but then pretends not to know you in public, he's probably using you. And my mum used to say, and I, don't, I think she stole this quote from somewhere, beware of a man who shows his love only behind closed doors because he's likely using you and doesn't have any more noble intention than that. The second thing that men do that makes them high quality is that they don't commit to you too quickly. So committing too quickly or over committing yeah. to me is a bad sign. Of course, us women, we want a man to commit quickly and easily, but do we? I think we actually don't and we're just playing a trick on ourselves. Mm -hmm. We want a man to prove that he thinks seriously about committing because if he commits too quickly or too easily, surely that means he could commit too easily and quickly to another woman, right? Or uncommit to us too quickly. There's no sort of strong foundation as to why he's committing if he could commit so bloody quickly. So, for so the man that we're actually more likely to think twice about and be more attracted to is the one who is a little bit more touchy about committing at the beginning because it shows that they're really seriously thinking about this, weighing up their options and they're not going to take any decision lightly, which also means that when they do commit, they're very much in, invested in it and wouldn't uncommit too quickly because they've seriously thought about this. And perhaps this is one of the reasons that plays into why women are far more attracted to the man who sort of plays a bit hard to get. I think that's there's lots of other things tied up in, in that desire, but I think that's a part of it. The third thing that men do that show that they're high quality is that when you're in public with him, they show a united front so that you are like this amazing, unpenetrable couple who are always going to stand together in public. And, and this is important because I think women being us insecure selves in public, if we don't feel like we um, have someone who's got our back, well, it's going to leave us feeling very open and exposed and vulnerable and that would build up a lot of resentment between a partner and possibly even fracture the relationship. And I know that this sounds kind of like, well, a woman should be able to stick up for herself. Sure, they can, but I really do think that it's really important that a woman feels that she is backed up 
by her husband. And a good example might be, and I've taken this from a TV show, let's say that a couple walks into a bar and the woman thinks she hears from across the room one of her boyfriend's friends say, oh look, she's so fake. And so she goes to confront him and says, well that was pretty rude, I, you know, I wouldn't expect you to say that, why would you say that? Um, and at this point it is so important no matter what the boyfriend thinks, whether or not he thinks his friend's guilty or not, it's important just to back her up. And a man that does that is high quality. If you have issues with each other and you don't agree with each other, do it in private. Take all of the issues and deal with them in private. But in public, it's so important to put on a united front. But because basically this man is saying that he values making you feel better over saving face in front of his friends. And this does go the other way around as well. I don't think it's right for a woman to just say, demand everything of a husband in a public setting such that he looks like he's whipped. It's not about that at all. It's, it's about just making sure that you are united in the way that you come across. It's not about one, you know, controlling the other, like master and slave. It's about just showing that you're a team. The fourth thing that men do that show that they're high quality is continue to insist upon your safety. And I'm going to have to give an example to get this point across. So let's say that you're leaving dinner and you've parked in separate places to go home for the night and um, the woman's car is parked far away so the man says that, look, I'll come and walk you to your car. Let's say that the street is well lit and there's lots of people around and it's very safe. That's fine. A high quality man will insist on still walking you to the car basically and what he's saying to you here is that I am going to make sure you're safe and no matter what you say even if you don't ask for help I'm always going to make sure I'm there as backup and why is this important it's because women really like to know they're protected um, yeah, and they want to know that they're going to have that protection mm -hmm. whether or not they um, are aware that they need it or not or ask for it or not. And this man is saying that I'm going to do it regardless of whether you're aware of the dangers or whether you need it or not, okay, because it's just this blanket rule. It shows that he, firstly, that he cares about you and that he is this big massive safety net for you as well. And I think for a lot of women that will stop them in their tracks because the underlying messages of insisting upon a woman's safety are, are really, really good ones. All right, that's it for today. And let me know what you think with a comment below. Of course, these are very subjective. I'd love to know any addition. I agree. I, I, I do. I got to say this, man. I agree with, I, I agree with everything she said now, but like now, now the part that women themselves always fail to explain is this like yes okay first off yes every woman like i say so many times before every woman wants to be led and every woman wants a stable consistent protector i was talking about that with my girl in the bed was it last night or night before night or uh yesterday morning we got in this topic i said look the, the reality is every woman every woman every woman on this planet just wants to just wants a a, a reliable strong consistent leader who can protect her. That's it. See, all of them like like pushing their tits out and, and having long, perfect hair and, and, and wearing you know perfected makeup, all that shit is just competing for the better like for the better, you know, relative quality man to do this. But all of them just want that. Like women don't know how pretty they are for real until a man acknowledges them and then like a certain type of man comes around. Like women don't know this shit. Like she doesn't know how pretty she is. Like like they know, like some women, like they know that on paper they should be prettier than others but they don't really get it you see what i'm saying so yeah like yes all women do want a protector they all do want, but it's that thing like see this is where women are completely different from men see men we explain things in a country we use words as contract where women use words as like a third form of communication like women use like woman's primary form okay women communicate like how dogs communicate. That's why I say like women are like German shepherds, like a, a four-year-old child mixed with a German shepherd. See, women communicate like dogs. Do, sometimes dogs do bark at each other. But 
dogs more communicate on body language and then when they get around each other you know can i smell your butthole dog yeah that's cool you know shit like that they ain't Brr, can i smell your butthole dog you see like and see that that's how women communicate women don't women use words as a third fourth fifth form method of communication so here you come like this so this is a common problem so so that's not you personally but let's say like here here we come as men we walk in the room with our words you know, we ain't paying attention to the physical, you know, movements, shit like that. We At least when we first start dating, we come in with our words, say, hey, I want to date you, I want to take care of you, blah, blah, blah. So in our heads, I say, okay, we'll, we'll, take, we'll date her, take care of her, so everything's good. But see, woman is is reading all the other communications, like, well, what's his body language like? Does he walk like he, he can protect me? Does, is, it, it, does he walk like he, like, does any, is anything about his physical body language communication throwing it off? You see, and this is what women, women don't even, like, see, women never ever talk about this shit because they don't know how to explain it. You see, and it's hard for me to explain it because it's hard for me to explain, like, the proper, like, the best way I can say to explain it is, like, look, when you're dealing with a woman, never say anything too fast unless it's something you're, like, a hobby you're genuinely passionate about. Oh, I spent, like, a, I spent, like, an hour telling my girl, like, about F1 penalties and shit. <laughs> and teaching my girl like how the F1 cars hit the turn up on like properly on the apex and why one guy will go defensive and it will make the other guy take the long way around it. I spent an hour telling her that shit. <laughs> like like in depth. I drew out diagrams. I, I should go find the diagram. Oh, I'll be back. I go find the diagrams where I drew the shit. Y'all gonna be laughing at this shit. So this is <laughs> I spent about an hour. Was it? It was Saturday morning. I don't know if y'all can see that, but those, those are like these are like the turns, and I was trying to explain to her. Oh, this is the picture of the car I drew, like where, where the weight of the engine and like the engine. If the engine's in the front and the car's real wheel drive, like if you're not using traction control, you're gonna have a much higher chance of spinning out, especially if you're like like going over hill and trying to. Like, I was trying to explain to her like all the little things, and she will sit there and listen to you. But if, if it's anything about her personally, like never say anything too fast and uh, like and always keep your shoulders relaxed and try to make sure you like your like little signs like your ears are relaxed. Just like dogs, like when dogs are like angry, you're at attention, dogs ears perk right up in that direction. Right. When's a dog relaxed? When a dog, when the ears are just like not, like nothing's being done to him and the dog is like. She like just just how you see a dog get when he gets tense he or she gets tense and mad it's the same thing how women look at you because women are women are mentally on that same level as, as like I say about a, about a German shepherd mixed with a four year old child so like what what Georgia Free is saying is right I'm not I, I'm not I'm not saying that I'm, I'm definitely not saying she's wrong but what what I, what I will say is this <clears throat> for men to figure this out only by words is pretty is, is is next to impossible like it's it's next to impossible i'm trying like i'm doing the best way i can to try to like clean up all the you know all the edges of, of the important shit that she left out like how do you actually become a man like this in long story short and this might be a little too uh brief concise but you have to be indifferent relatively not caring unless it's a hobby you care about and she said yeah like uh I, I agree with her like like you should offer to walk girl to her car you can do that but see also if you just play the indifferent role that's about as equally good depending on how you did earlier that date or what or whatever that meeting because see when it comes to that whole part of like, can i walk you to your car see women pick up on so many little cues and little things in dating like how you're moving how you're laughing how fast you're talking if if you're saying something to her that infers something else like like bitches man they, they read into so much shit like it's like i've just studied them enough to where i can pretty much i can feel out like at least what how not to take it horribly wrong I'm not gonna say that I succeed every single time, but I've I've studied enough of them and dealt with enough of them to know like well, okay I can guarantee it won't go horribly wrong type of shit <laughs> like like she'll at least still be comfortable you know what I'm saying to, to come around me or from somewhere like she'll walk up and say hi to me type of shit. But see like the offer to walk her to her car, I, personally I would not advise to do that. Now she she's gonna say this because okay. Based off her past, I think she, the girl's like 28, 29, 30 or something like that. And she's a, and I think she's a, a doctor or some shit like that. So she's just dealing. See, all the men who are even in her world are guys that she would give a chance to. Because, like, okay, let me, correction. 
due to hypergamy, all the guys who will appeal to her are all guys who are highly reputable in her world. So yeah, that any one of those guys can offer to walk her to her car. Now, if you worked at McDonald's and you wore clothes that was two sizes too big and you smelled like onions, you she would be you you you're going to be a creep to her. You can't walk her to her car then. You ask her, she's going to imagine you killing her and all types of shit. Now, if that medical doctor comes up and offers her, the medical doctor can make jokes about killing her in his car and she'll be like, "That's so funny." You see what I'm saying? You see, you see how that hypergamy plays out. That's just the reality. See, these are parts that, that women, either they know it and they just don't want to say it because they know how fucked up this sounds, or two, they genuinely can't see it. They genuinely don't know that this is what they're doing. You see? But yeah, I agree. So I'm going to go back, and we're going to go back through. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm gonna break through the, the steps. And like I said, she said it's subjective, and I get that. And she, I, I think she does it. I think she's a well-spoken lady. I, I do. So step one, shows you off in public. That's true. Yeah. Cause, it, cause if a guy's not willing to like the, the the hug a bitch, hold a bitch hand, kiss her, shit like that, yeah, like she she, she for some reason he got stuck with the hoe out in public, and <laughs> and he's really trying to you know not be seen or 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 he, there's another girl that he fucks with in that same area. So in case that other girl or one of her friends sees him, he don't want the word to get back that yeah he was you know holding her hand and kissing her and shit because he don't want the other girl to hear. It. So yeah, I agree with that. For, but on, on the overall sense of the shit, I agree with this. What was number two? Number two is does it commit too quickly? Yeah, does it commit too quickly? Goes into I think I think it was in, in the book that I in my book. The more available you are, the lower the lower value you are to a woman. You got to remember everything with a woman is value. Okay, they don't like they don't women don't genuinely like you. Get you like you have to you must understand this shit. No woman genuinely likes you, <laughs> it, as you know, like likes you as a buddy and friend and shit. Women like you because the value that you that 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 you appear to bring to the table. Women are very shallow. You, you know how women say, "Oh, men are shallow dogs." See, women say that shit because they're project. They're, like, what's it called? Like they're projecting that they're 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 trying to put like hurry up and blame you before you can see them for what they really are. Women are very fucking shallow. OK, just like I said earlier, if 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 a dude who worked at McDonald's and his clothes were two sizes too big and they weren't like like legit designer clothes and shit. If he tried to offer to walk her to her car after work or walk her to her car after she left McDonald's, she'd be creeped out by him. You think she let him uh, walk her to his car after, after she stopped by McDonald's, and got her a double cheeseburger and it was 1030 at night. And he's like, hey, it's dark outside. Can I walk you to your car? So, oh, no, I'm thanks. No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I bet you. Ten times, ten times out of eight, she would do that. This exact woman would do that. All right. Now, on the flip side, let's say it's two a.m. in the morning. And she just got off her shift, and the doctor was just. And she knew that that a group of doctors go in that back room and take shots before they drive home. And that doctor would have came out and said, "Hey, it's dark outside. Can I walk into your car?" Like, "Oh, that's so nice. That's so sweet." And the doc, that drunk doctor, can literally joke about killing her that night on the way to the car. And she would be laughing, oh, <laughs> well, I hope you don't kill me, <laughs> They're Like, it's just women hyper, it's just how they are, man. So, and also, like, does it commit too quickly? Okay, does it, okay, if you're on the same level as her or beneath her, that's a problem if you commit too quickly. Now, if you're above her, then it's, it's perfectly fine. But I see where she's going with it. I could agree with her on that because it still kind of fits in that thing, like, okay, She'll still fuck with you if, if you're if you're hyper, if based off her hypergamy. If you're like much higher than her, she'll still fuck with you. But she like a lot of respect will be gone for that for that man. So pretty much, it goes like this, man. And I, I think I talked about this in other videos too. Another reason why women are like dogs. Like I don't know if you have this saying where you live, but like when you go to a pound, they say like you when you go to a dog pound where like where like homeless dogs they keep dogs there for people to come adopt them. They say that the owner doesn't pick the dog. The dog picks the owner. You see what I'm saying? And that's usually how that that, that that's usually how it goes. Like and how the dog respects you and all that shit after after you adopt the dog and take it home. Like for instance, I remember when I when I adopted my last dog. My last dog never did anything disrespectful to me. Never was ne never did anything. But I when I would let my dog go to like friends or family house. I would hear so many stories about the dog being like just disrespectful, wouldn't pay attention, nothing. Like it would just go off. 
But with me, like I, I remember I had this chain that this like it was a choke chain because it, it was a long story. But I bought her a choke chain. And she had never taken a choke chain off with me. I left the choke chain on her weeks at a time. She never took it off with me. As soon as I let somebody watch her, that choke chain was gone in five seconds. And they, people would send me pictures saying, yeah, she took it off. As soon as, you shoot, as soon as you left, she took it off. See, like, women are like dogs in this regard. The dog, the woman picks you to, to, to respect and all that. I mean, you, you can game a woman into respecting you, but... It's much. I think it's much more organic when the woman picks you, type of shit. So, long story short, with this does commit too quickly. That translates into okay. Does it commit too quickly for most women? Translates into this. The woman wants to be the one to get commitment out of you, not not. She doesn't want the man to try to get commitment out of her because that makes him look lower value like he he doesn't have any options she's and, and she's the best option and she's like you know the number one in a relationship and no woman no human wants to be number one in a relationship let alone a woman you see so what does not doesn't commit too quickly what that translate into men is the woman wants to be the one to to ask about commitment not she the woman does not want the man to to to, to ask about commitment you see so let's go off to number three Puts on a united front in public always. Oh, this was the one she was talking about. I think with the with she over here, friend, saying she's fake as fuck. Now, in in that scenario, if 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 a guy's friend saying yeah, she's fake as fuck, that that is usually two two things are going on in that scenario. Either a she's fake as fuck, or two or b b his friend his friends don't respect him. So they're going to diss anything he brings around. Because if they respect them, they wouldn't say it. Unless she is actually fake as fuck. You see what I'm saying? You see that? that that's real shit. And, and I, if, if she ever watches it, if she ever watches this, she would agree a thousand. Every woman who watches it, who heard me say that, would say that. They would agree a thousand percent once they think into it. If a man's friend say, says that, if a man's friend says that his girlfriend is fake as fuck, it's one of two things. Either A, she is actually fake as fuck. He caught her doing some shit or he knows something about her or some shit like that to the point where he'll just say it out loud now. Fuck it. That bitch is fake as fuck. I don't like her. He'll either do that or be or or, or the second situation is the friend doesn't respect him. So he's the, so the friend is going to say anything that negative about about the guy. Out and say it out loud in public, because men use verb. Men use words as contract. You see, we use it as permanency. I think that was this one, or was that four? Let's go to four. Uh -oh. Persistently, persistently shows that he ensures your safety. Yeah, see that that number number four is subjective. For, well, first, okay, I get where she was saying it was subjective, but it's also subjective to the quality of man that 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 is trying to get her. See, because and see, this is what women. Let me get her on a better. I don't want to do her like that. <laughs> get her on a better picture. <laughs> um, he 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 he, content, he chronically shows that he has interest in the woman's safety. Like, yeah, th this is real shit. But see, what what women do not go into is see. A man could do this and look great, or a man could do this and look like a complete creep. And how he looks like a complete creep is based off of how the whole date, how the whole meeting, the relationship was going. Is is he starting to get overprotective? Because because if he's if he's looking too much into her safety, like oh, well, what are you doing here? What are you doing there? What are you doing here? What are, are, are you so you safe? Blah blah. See, that's gonna come off as overprotective. You see what I'm saying? But see, women, they, 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 when they verbalize shit, they don't think deep enough to, to explain, like, all these different situations. Because women, I think at, at some point, women also know how difficult they are to deal with. Until you, until you know how to deal with them. Pretty much, and how you deal with them is you just be indifferent from most shit. Unless you're excited about a hobby. For her, for, all, for any other woman you see and know, the best way you deal with a woman... Is be relatively indifferent until you until you just genuinely want to talk about some ho some hobby or or whatever topic you want to talk about. Be indifferent until you get on something like that. 
then you can be like, you know, initiating shit and be like trying to, you know, cater to shit when it's like your hobby. But like, you are always better off being like indifferent, indifferent, or just like saying some like neutral slash agreeing shit with whatever she's saying. That's just it. Anything else, man, unless you know how to deal with that woman or deal with women, you're going to run too high of a chance of, of coming off like a creep or overprotective or some shit like that, man. Let's play this again. I will insist on still walking you to the car, basically. And what he's saying to you here is that I am going to make sure you're safe. And no matter what you say, even if you don't ask for help, I'm always going to make sure I'm there as backup. Yeah, see, yeah, no matter what you say, I'm always going to make sure I'm there as a backup. See, that, 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 that is very easily, uh, it can work. It can work. See, and she's not explaining that in depth. Because, like, that, that line right there, a man can easily find himself as beta bucks. No matter what you say, I'll do it type of shit. Here, here we go again. Say, even if you don't ask for help, I'm always going to make sure I'm there as backup. See, yeah. See? And... That shit, but see, like, like I said, and this is only in her context. Cause see, like, like I say in other videos, most women can't see out their own brains. You see, like she, this, this woman went to medical school. I'm, I'm assuming she's working in the medical field. So, see, all these guys in that world can get away with that because, like, see, in her world, like, like, men have reputations to uphold, shit like that. So, like, in her world, they can do that to her. You see, but like I said, now. Catch his hoe out at 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 eleven thirty at night at McDonald's, and you know what I'm saying. And then and then that dude from behind, but from who 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 handed her her chicken McNuggets and and her uh, her diet coke comes out and says, "Hey, it's dark. Can I walk you to your car? I don't care if you ask for it or not. I just want to protect you." You think she's gonna? No, no. <laughs> but anyway, anybody who's working up in that hospital with her, oh yeah, they're, they're, that's a it's a possibility. See, it's, that's a woman's hypergamy. She can't see it because she's a woman. She can't see it. It's just the reality. But anyway, I thought this was a good video, man. Thanks, AH, for this uh, video recommendation. I appreciate it. I'm going to get off here. And yeah, like I'm going to try to do a lot more videos this week because the last two weeks I was slacking, for real. Let's be real about that shit. Last week was a complete slack, but the week before that, I was all, I was slacking for the last two weeks, if we're being honest about it. But yeah, so if anybody has any recommendations, feel free to, to hit me up and let me know, man. Um, Thank you again for anybody and everybody who even knows my internet name or my name or even knows my face. <laughs> Thank you. So hey, I appreciate every bit of support, man. Every bit. So, yeah, I hope everybody has a good day, man. I'll see you.